Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this week's Zen and Zazen class on Monday. Uh, today, I want to talk about this phrase. Um, normally, when I talk about these koans, I'm taking this from one of my books, but this one, today's phrase, you cannot find uh, in my book, although it's a very famous uh, phrase famous koan. But before I talk about it, uh, let's, as always, first sit for half an hour. We前面还是半个小时坐禅，然后后面老师讲平常心是到那个公安，然后然后今天讲的那个公安不在老师那本书里面啊，但是也是很有名的一个公安。但是在之前，我们先坐禅三十分钟。
Thank you very much for joining Zazen. Uh, I want to say a few things about uh, this Chinese saying uh, written with five letters. In Japanese you can read it in two ways, either He Jo Shin Zedo or Byo Jo Shin Zedo. The last character Do is in uh, Chinese Dao, so it can both mean the way or the truth, absolute truth. And the first character, this can mean mm, stable, it can mean peaceful, it can mean ordinary or normal, it can make, mean quite a lot of things. Um, this means always or permanently. So these two together, or the third one is the mind. The third one is the mind, Shin. And the three together can either mean a stable, settled mind, a mind that's always stable or settled, or it can mean ordinary mind. So often I think the English translation is ordinary mind is the way.老师说今天我们分析就是平常心吃道 一般的呀，就是有很多的意思，在中文里面也是，啊，长那就是总是心就是大家都知道哈，中文里面翻译成意识或者是你的头脑，所以平常心呢可以是一个呃一般的正常的一个心，或者是真理啊，正义的心。那
any way it is, your mind as it is right now in this, this moment, that's the way, that's the way. You don't have to strive to have a settled mind or a stable mind. You should start, you have to start with the mind as it is right now. That's where the way starts. Chan 这个汉字平呢像日本的年号今年是令和年现在这一刻 um, how is it in, in Japanese, is, uh, in Chinese? Is there only one way to read this character or are there only one way? Yes, we only have one uh, pronunciation. Mm, mm. So um, basically, I agree with what uh, most Buddhists say that this means ordinary mind, everyday mind is another English translation that's oft, often used. Everyday mind is the way. The only thing that I find a little bit funny about what Buddhists say that you shouldn't interpret it as Heijoshin but Byojoshin is that when they say that, they make this ordinary mind into something special. So they say ordinary mind doesn't mean a stable mind, it doesn't mean a peaceful mind, but it's only ordinary mind. Yes, but don't make it into something special. Um, so nobody for, of you has to be concerned about if you read it Heijoshin or Byojoshin because you're not living in Japan in the first place. Um, but often it happens that we try to make the normalness of Zen, the ordinariness of Zen into a very special ordinariness. Um, and then of course it becomes artificial. Isn't also ordinary. Well, the second one, maybe that's the way how you write in Japanese. This can also mean ordinary. It can mean um, usual, permanent. Yes. Um, so together it means ordinary mind or everyday mind. And that's the way. Basically, it's your present situation. That's where you are right now. 那个在在佛教或者是禅禅修里面这个平常心，其实就是每一天的大家本来原来的那个心，老师觉得特别有意思一点，就是因为日语日语日语分得很清楚啊，由于意思的不一样，用法不一样，所以他把这两个读音在
并不是说让大家。找到他特别的意思，也就是说，平常心不是一个很特别的，就是你一定要呃平静下来那那一那一颗很平静下来的心，它应该是你原来就有的那颗心，就是你现现在本源就有的。所以在日语里面，它就这个发音就很有意思哈，它就是一个现在的意思，嗯，就是让你看到现在你原原本本的现在的那个心。Okay, so much、uh, from my side. If you have questions, if there's anything that you would like to share, either about today's topic or about something else, you're welcome to do so. Yeah, Aiko, please. Hi.、Um, I had to think about the fire god、mm -hmm. Koan. Uh, where the student is asking the teacher, "Where is the fire god?" and the the teacher says, "There it is already."、Mm. And and here in this one, the student asks, "Where is ordinary mind?" and the teacher says, "There is already lost." Why is it so so contradict? So 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 how is the English word contradictory? Things、mm. that they. Why? Why is it so different, or is it the same question? Hmm. 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 Well, in the case of the fire god, the question is,、uh, "What's my true self?" And、uh, the the teacher says, "Fire god looking for fire." Um. Hmm. But it's basically as you say, like、uh, the the mind that's seeking. The mind that's seeking—that's your true self. And in this case here, the student wants to know where is ordinary mind.、Um, and of course, the mind that's wanting to know what's ordinary mind is already ordinary mind. So. When you look for ordinary mind, that's also ordinary mind, but your eyes. Your eyes are looking somewhere else. In the case of the fire god,、um, well, there's kind of three, I think, three different stages stages that you could discern. Kind of what's、uh, the problem? The the point with that koan is that in the second stage, the student thinks, oh, if I'm already the fire god, I don't have to look anymore. And that's why when he met the second teacher, he says, "You don't understand the koan. You don't understand the answer." And、uh, first, the student wants to leave, but then he turns back and says, "Well, then tell me, what's my real self?" And the second teacher repeats the phrase, and then finally he understands that this mind that's seeking, that's the mind that I am seeking. Um. But in the beginning, the student was also seeking. The student was also seeking, but it was different from the last stage, the third stage. The difference is he was seeking for himself, but he was seeking somewhere. It must be somewhere outside there. So he was seeking his mind, and the mind that was seeking was his true self, but. His eyes were attached out outside there, so with the ordinary mind that we talk about today, you could say the same. When you look for ordinary mind, that's already the answer because the mind that's looking for ordinary mind is ordinary mind. But the problem is that usually you think there must be some special kind of ordinary mind, ordinary mind out there. How can I become ordinary? How can I become natural? So,、um, with this kind of naturalness, it might be easier to understand. A, a lot of us people today think that being natural, being your natural self, is a good thing. We all try to be natural, but some of us try to be natural in a very artificial way. We try to be more natural than we already are, 
And often it's quite obvious to the people around us that we pretend to be natural, but we think we are actually natural. Um, and of course, this pretending to be natural, that's also our natural self, but <laughs> it's a funny way to be natural. So I think that's why in today's case, uh, the master says, well, when you look for ordinary minds, you already, <clears throat> your eyes, your eyes are attached to something that's not the ordinary mind. You forget that the mind that's doing the looking is, is already ordinary mind. So it's not completely different from the fire god story, but it's a kind of different kind of, how do you say, didactic way of teaching. The teaching approach is maybe opposite. Any other questions? Anything else you would like to share? Ginjo-san, please. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, Moho, thank you very much for mentioning about natural myself. I was yeah. thinking about it before um, Aiko asked the question because um, in Japanese, we Japanese use that heijoshin mostly in a very special occasion mm. when you get nervous, before you go to um, your theater actor or something before mm. it starts, you get very nervous and it's important to keep your ordinary mind. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very difficult actually and um <laughs> and it's it's uh, it was um it caused more suffer mm. if i was in a such situation i get very easily nervous from of people mm. and um actually you you explained to me to us what is ordinary mind mm. in that very special occasion mm. unusual occasion lose your mind, get mm. nervous, mm. deal with a situation. Mm. That is the ordinary mind, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Normally we tell ourselves, oh, I need to relax, relax, relax. <laughs> but, but we are not relaxed, so we get even more nervous. <laughs> yes. And I think the best way, just as you said, just be nervous. If you're standing in, on a stage in front of a lot of people, often it helps to just be honest and tell them, I'm so nervous right now. But then it's out and it helps you to relax rather than pretend and tell yourself, I, I, I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. No, you're nervous. And, and that's ordinary mind. That's, that's natural mind. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Julian is raising his hand. Please, Julian. I was just going <clears> to <throat> excuse me. I was just going to say tomorrow I will talk to four hundred school children, mm. and I found the only way it works is to be very honest. Mm. And the more honest I share with the twelve, thirteen, fourteen-year-olds, the better it goes. <clears throat> and um, so, yeah, I will. I will be nervous in front of them. And uh, thank you for that reminder. I mean, um, people people are, are really hungry for that, that that's, they want to see you as you are. They don't want a person that acts supernatural, super relaxed, but they want yeah, to and see I think, you. I think particularly mm. in this age of TikTok and Instagram that so many children are having to deal with, mm. the more we can embody that ordinary mind. Yes. This is, you know, um, so, uh, yeah. Although, you know, sometimes you have to dye your hair green just to be ordinary. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Bernard, please. Hey, um, I got reminded when you are talking about nervous. Uh, some time ago, I heard the comparison between the raw emotion of nervousness with excitement. 
or being anxious, mm. which is funny because uh, if you get rid of the interpretation, you cannot really tell if it's that you are nervous or you are really excited. Like you're very, like, uh, very happy. Mm. So mm. I think that's helpful if obviously people tend to forget this but uh it's i think it's useful to remember it to instead of suppress the emotion mm. just remember that it can be just exciting instead of being nervous mm. yes yes for sure mm. it's a it's a very high degree of intensity when you're nervous you think it's something negative but actually um can be a very intense feeling it can be also something positive sometimes mm -hmm. anything else that you would like to ask or share schwanzan please uh, i thought about um like in yoga there are a lot of challenge poses especially balance uh, mm -hmm. practice so when you think about oh i don't want to fall i don't want to fall <laughs> Yes. That's, the mo that's the moment you're going to fall. <laughs> yes. yes. But if you don't think about, oh, I'm going to fall, you just do what you needed to do, yes. then you won't fall. It's so yes. interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, when you tell yourself, I'm going to fail, then you're going to fail. And some people say, well, you should tell yourself, I can do it, I can do it. But I feel that that kind of positive approach is also something artificial. I personally would recommend you, you don't have to tell yourself you can do it. You can fail, maybe you can do it. Just, just do it without thinking if you can do it or not. This positive approach, I can do it, I will win, also is, is very artificial. And when you fail in the end you feel even more bad about that so um, when we fail we fail we don't have to tell ourselves right in the first place i'm gonna fail anyway but you should be open to fail or to fall to be nervous um, you're open to that possibility and more often than not you're gonna succeed actually rather than tell yourself, I can do it, I'm going to succeed. You d maybe you will, maybe you will, but I wouldn't want to tell myself right from the beginning, I need to succeed, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. uh, for some like headstand or some other balance, I, I teach my student for how to fall first. Mm -hmm. And then they yeah. feel more confidence to catch the balance yes a lot of time that's how we start to practice uh, challenge asana yeah. Um, yeah from how to fall <laughs> any other questions anything else you would like to share Uh, Marek, please. Ah, th thank you for asking. And the, the, the sad news is that I would like to share today is that um, my cat is sick and we going to the vet. Uh, so if you have some good thoughts toward her, um, we will really appreciate it. And um, thank you for your company for, and thank you for, for the practice today. Your cat? Your cat is sick? Yeah, yeah. My black cat that you oh. probably know, she's um, hmm. um, she, um, spent with me uh, over 19 years. And um, that's a long life for a cat, I think. It is. It is. Yeah. Hmm. I remember the first the first time I saw you and uh, somehow it happened that we talked about uh, 
the koan about a cat that was yep. uh, hmm. that lost her life and um, that's, that's a very unfortunate that now now her her own life is endangered and um, but mm. but that, that's unfortunately that's how it how it is and um, just hoping for the best outcome but uh, don't really can't really see very good good ways out of it so mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit like 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 falling and learning how to fall. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You have to do to be open to to all possibilities. Um, maybe your yeah. cat is getting well again, or maybe not. But <sighs> hopefully, yeah. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah, the difference is that uh, the that, uh, creature that is, uh, you know, about to fall is mm. not you, n not you yourself, but mm. Mm. somebody that is, mm. that who is, who is dependent on you. So it's, um, mm. Mm. I would say the other dimension is the responsibility that we, that we feel toward, uh, and, you know, the, mm. and in in this case, this 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 this, this black cat. Mm. Anyway, so I wanted to mention her because she, the whole her life, she always loved uh, sitting and meditating with me, and she was a very faith, is and still is a very faithful companion. And um, great. But I mean, you're doing you're doing all you can. You're doing all you can. Yeah. You get, so. yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And, and unfortunately, it turns out it's it's not enough. And but that's yeah. But but thank you for the. Um, yeah. If there are good things, it's your company, and so that we can be together with you, even um, even though the distance is so huge that this is there is some um, there is a there is a value, and even though I haven't met you in person, uh, yeah, there is some value of sharing this 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 experience together thank you thank so, you thank you thank you very much uh, this is hair yeah all the best to you and your cat yeah thank you anything else that you would like to share or ask Thomas, you unmuted yourself. Is there anything you would like to say? No, everything is all right. Everything, everything all right. Is all right. Okay, so it's nine o'clock here in Japan. Um, if you have nothing more to share or to ask, I would say uh, I would wish you a good night or a good day. Uh, in Europe, the day is just, well, not started, but the afternoon is going to start. And if you like, see you again next week. Same time, name, same space. Have a nice week. And thank you for today. Thanks a million. Thank you.